Hello, now I'm going to talk, to talk about test automation. So the, what I'm going to address is how to have a, a way that you basically define your tests, you can store the tests, and you can replay the tests every time you want. Because, uh, of course, you have already done testing, right? Because basically what you do, you just program and then you run your code and you see if it is working or not. And if things become a bit more, uh, uh, if you want to be more demanding in the type of testing you do, you just probably uh, write code inside the code, so write code in the main, so, so that you set the context where you can test your system, or you interact through the interface and uh, spend a lot of time filling, uh, introducing values into the, the system such that uh, the system in a, is in a state that can be tested. But that, actually this doesn't work, this doesn't scale. You can do it uh, once, but it's not uh, it's gonna scale a scale. So basically what you need, you need to have a tool the, that has two properties, okay? One property is that um, store the test cases, and the, and the other is that um, cleans, setups and cleans the context. Because actually when you want to test something, you want to test it in a particular state. So actually you need, you, you need first, you need to do is to put your, the system that you're gonna test in that state. Then you are, you are going to invoke the method that you want to test or the, 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 the module that you want to test and then you check the results, okay? So any tool should follow these steps. So these are the steps. So for each test, you need to set up the context, run the test, collect the results, and clean the, the context. And the tool at, at the end presents the results, as you have seen already. So it says, well, five tests passed, two fails, and two add errors, okay? So I'm going to exemplify with the technology we're going to use, which is Spock for testing, okay? So let's do it. So you have here um, a Spock test, and uh, actually there are two tests, it's a class. So what you have here, basically, you have a setup method when you define the context. So you say you create the bank, okay? And have you, you have a cleanup method that basically cleans the, the, the context at the end. So in this case, it goes and for every account in the bank, just removes the, the, the accounts in the bank. The idea is that every test that runs, runs in a new context. Then each test, what they have three parts, as I told you. You set a more specific context. Here is the context that is generic to all the tests. This is the context just specific to this test. And then in the when part, this is the given, in the when part, you execute the test. And in the then, you collect the results. So what do I have here? Given an hero account, where you just create an account which the currency is in euros, and then you add, you add this account to the bank. What are you testing? The deposit of 12 euros. And what you expect to, to get as a result is that the currency is okay and that the value that is there is 12, okay? And the same for this test. So in this test, actually what you want to test is that if you try to deposit euros in a Swiss franc um, uh, 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 currency, okay, account, then you, you, you expect to get an exception, okay? So let's see how does it work. Basically, the way it's gonna run is that, look, you set up, so the setup runs, then you run your test, and then you clean. Then you set up again, you run the second test, and you clean. Something that is important here that you need to know is that the order the tests are going to execute inside the, inside the class is not necessarily the same, which means that each test case should be completely independent of the other tests, okay? So what is the advantage of this? Any moment you can run these tests. So you can verify if your program continues to have the same quality, if all the tests continue to pass. Okay, good work.